Hey everyone, you are here because you have a stand store and you want to offer Stripe payment plans. We're going to walk through it today. It really is super simple. It just takes a few steps. So here we are in the product catalog. I have two offerings right now, the roadmap and simply passive that I have payment links for. So when you make your Stripe account, you've probably figured out at this point that you need to create a second Stripe account. You cannot use the same one that you use for Stan and getting paid for in Stan. So second Stripe account, I have a business email that I use to set this second Stripe account up. So you're going to click the big blue button, add product. And we're just going to pretend that we're putting in simply passive. So name, you're going to type in simply passive or whatever your product is. Description, you're going to type in your description or copy and paste from Stan store. You're going to upload a picture. If it's simply passive, they give you graphics and I love that. Or you can just Google the of, of whatever it is. For the product tax code, you're going to use newspapers, downloadable, non-subscription with permanent rights. It has to be exactly that. It is a one-off. The amount you're going to put in is, of course, whatever amount you are charging for that. If it's simply passive, it has to be at least 387 or more. The roadmap, 497 or more. I am including tax and price because that's I just want to cover my bases there. Over here is a preview of what the customer will see. Unit quantity, tax location, which is my state. And it gives you your sales tax for that state. Okay. So that's how you add a product. It's super simple. As you can tell, there is no place to actually upload said product. Let's look at how to fix that. With Stan Store, when you're looking at it, you actually, there's a place to upload your product just right on checkout. So we're going to move to show you. So for the apps that work with your product, you're going to probably have to use Send Owl. This is a third party um, that helps you deliver your digital product that you sell with Stripe. I actually ran into this with a customer. My customer purchased the roadmap and never received the roadmap. And I realized, well, it's because there's nothing automated here. Whereas with Stan Store, it's just right in there that it sends the email with the product. So go to Send Owl and set that up. Pop in your course or whatever you have. That you're going to be selling. So that's for your product catalog. That's how you add your product. Super simple. Um, you can do coupon, shipping rates, tech rates, whatever, whatever you want to do. Next thing you're, we're going to look at settings. Okay, so we're going to look at payments. Um, there's some things in payment links that you probably should look at, um, like. Do you want to offer a refund? Is there a refund policy? You can find that there. We're going to look at payment methods. I would just really encourage you to go through all of this and just check out what it is. So payment methods, this is where you're going to choose which countries you want to offer to, which you can just keep it in the United States if you want or whatever country. You don't have to sell to every country. Whatever's going to make you feel the most comfortable. So cards. I'm allowing cards from anywhere. Um, I So these are the payment methods here. I am not going to be selling in China, but I do have Apple Pay, Cash Pay, Google Pay, and Link. Notice they're all active. Down here, we have some other places in Europe that um, I have allowed. Germany, Austria, Belgium, that sort of thing. Here are the other payment methods. Now, Affirm, you cannot use Affirm. Um, I have gotten an email saying that they no longer back the digital products that we sell, so I wouldn't even bother with Affirm. They just won't, unfortunately. Um, Afterpay or Klarna are great options. They'll split it up in four. And I have chosen the specific countries that I want it to be offered in. Yeah, that's pretty much it for that one. So now I want to show you how to put it in your stand store. Again, that's pretty simple. 
So I'm going to click on Simply Passive. So here is the pricing, which I need to adjust. I already have a payment link because I already have it clicked in my store, but let me show you how to set it up in your store. Okay, here we are in my store. So first of all, I want you to notice the difference here. So here's my Simply Passive course with MRR. Notice how it has the download. Here's the Simply Passive payment plans. Notice how it has the link because it's going to take you to Stripe. So let's, let's add a product as if we are going to do this from the beginning. Choose product type it's going to be external link, hence the link icon. <clears throat> so you can choose any thumbnail you want. If you want to do a picture of the Simply Passive, if you want to do it in your theme style, whatever you want. You're going to type in your title, Simply Passive, subtitle, um, you know, payment plans as low as whatever it is, and then a call to action button. Click me, download me, get started now, whatever your call to action button is. And then your URL. So this is where you're going to enter in your payment link. So remember we were here and we have the payment link. If You probably haven't made a payment link yet, but once you click on Add Payment Link, then you can view that payment link and just quite literally copy and paste into your stand store. It literally has the button Copy. Copy to Clipboard. It's got all the information here that you're offering for this specific thing. You're going to copy it. You're going to head over to your stand store, and you're going to copy and paste it, and then publish. Boom! It's that easy. It's that easy, guys. If you have questions, let me know. Thank you.